Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be creating a simple API in Go. Uh, so this will be a series of videos where we'll explore different facets of SRE and DevOps, and we will add incrementally. We will add feature incrementally on this uh, application as we go along, and we'll be deploying the application in Kubernetes. We will be exposing it. We will be monitoring it, and and so on. So yeah, uh, we follow along. So let me first create some initial directories, uh, CMD, which will hold the entry point to our application. Our app is API. We'll be creating a bookstore API. So let's create a function or a file called main.go and we'll, uh, we'll create another folder called internal, which will hold the server configuration. Create a folder called server and let's create a server.go file in here. So uh, let's declare our main package and create our main function. So yeah, uh, we created a main function and let's go to our server. We'll declare package server. Uh, this will be our server package. And to run the application, we will be using a Jin framework. It is a Frame SDB framework build up on Go. So uh, before we start our project, we need to initialize our module. So do let's open the terminal and write Go mod in it and write the uh, package name, but or your application name. Uh, it will be a bookstore API. So yeah, and let's run Go mod tidy. So we don't have anything and as we said we will be using Jin. so let's ins download the package uh, you just copy and paste it so yeah as you can see we just download the package which you can verify over here uh, and let's go to the server and create a function called run so this function will, will be responsible for running our API server um, so let's first create our router called chin.new it should automatically import it yep so we created our router and let's define a simple um, health check endpoint called ping so if somebody that you can do that using router.get which is the method and slash uh, ping or uh, let's do it like this ready slash live uh, this endpoint would be responsible to check whether our, our application is alive or not or, or what we can do it here is slash live would be responsible for checking if our server is running or not and we later will implement another health check endpoint called ready so basically we're trying to see uh, implement readiness or liveliness pro for now let's check life and uh, we'll create call this function lively liveness handler okay or check live yeah this sounds much better so we created an endpoint and defined a handler don't worry about this we will be implementing it and once our routes are defined we'll just run router router dot run and we would need to pass our um, address and port uh, for now we are just passing it as a passing it as a static value over here but later in the course we will be uh, getting it dynamically or passing it through our config yaml file so as you see uh, run returns an error the reason i'm seeing this help uh, this what do you call documentation is i have installed uh, gin or go go package in in vs code so let's handle error as well so if if error is not equal to nil 
answer then we would instead of returning log, log like calling log fatal over here or panicking here we will return the error back to our main function because this is from where we will be calling the server run so what we will do is it will return empty the error calling could not start cloud <laughs> sorry could not start the server and and we will pass the error now see the error is our function is not returning anything so yeah and if everything goes right then we will return nothing so let's go to our let's implement the handler first so let's create a file called handlers.go this will hold all the handlers to our application the package would still be server and let's create the function just copy this and paste it here so in gin uh, comp like when you are using native uh, uh, native SDP router you would do something like sdp dot response writer slash uh, string sorry sdp dot request if we were if we were using native sdp we would be passing the variable like this to our handler but in gin you would do it simply a bit differently which is we would pass in the context and gin dot context yeah so and all the request uh, parameter can be pulled in from the gin context so let's um, return uh, Return something. Uh, we you can do it using c context dot json, and it will take two parameters. Uh, one is the status code and the value. So, for status code, for now we will just be doing uh, http dot status. Okay, we'll be turning status okay, and we will be returning uh, message like this is check live. So we'll be returning it is running something so we can do that using gin dot h what it does is it serializes <clears throat> our data so we will be saying message is running we will refactor everything on uh, the way we are sending data back to the user but for now just to check our server is running this will do it so we have implemented our router created our router assigned an endpoint run the router and define our handler as well so let's go to our main function and we will call server.run which will run our run our server and as you hover over it it returns an error what you can do is like as you see compared to other 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 function or other packages it shows some documentation over here right the way you can do that is you can just write on top of it com comment on top of it run creates a new router and and runs the SDP server creates a router uh, signs endpoint to the router and runs the handler now if you go to main function and hover over it that you would see the documentation it makes your life much easier like when our application grows much bigger it will be much easier to uh, manage so since we are getting an error let's handle it if error is not equal to nil sorry if it was to like this error is not equal to nil then here what we can do is log the fatal or you can just do fmt dot print f uh, could not run the server and pass in the error and call os.exe yeah 
so let's try to see if our server is running properly or not <coughs> so go run cmp main api main dot go and as you see looks like our server is running so let's try to see if the endpoint uh, works or not so i have another terminal ready and i'll do just call call p localhost port 9090 slash and the endpoint is live so as you see and uh, the, the request was successful and we got the result as well so yeah uh, that's all for this lecture uh, we will be implementing more features on top of it and refactoring the code as well this is nowhere ready to to be a working application this is just a simple api which would run the server and check if the server is running or not now we will go through it reiterate it upon it and make it much readable and and maintainable as we go along so yeah hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye